again, and I'm here again with Praying Mantis. And we've got our bells, our music to start today. Would you like to do it, Praying Mantis? Mother Earth, Father Son, spin us a story, a story is spun. Thank you, Praying Mantis. Oh, today's story comes from many places. I first start with a story of an Osage chief. Well, this was a long time ago, in the beginning of time when there were people on the earth, and there were nine clans, and they were separated into two parts, the sky clans and the earth clans. And one was the isolated earth clan, and this clan had a very strong chief, very strong in mind and heart and spirit. And he wanted a clan animal to represent his clan and be something more than the isolated Earth clan. So he decided he would go on a quest to find that, that spirit animal that would represent his clan, something strong like he was and powerful. And so he went out one day and he came upon the tracks of a deer and he could see from the tracks that this deer was very large indeed and he said yes this will be our clan animal a mighty deer would lead the people well so he started to follow the tracks they went to the left and they went to the right and they went over the hill and down the hill and he followed them followed them very closely until he came to a great web that covered him over and he started pulling at this web but it wouldn't come off it was everywhere walked through this web and he was got really mad because it had stopped him and kind of lost his tracks and he just said oh who put this web here and spider said that is my web he said, I am on a quest to find the clan animal for our clan. Why are you putting this web in my way? Spider said, I can be your clan animal. You, you who are so small and puny and weak and invisible. Spider said, well, my son, you who are looking only at the ground and have such a narrow vision you could not even see my web that was right in front of your face and that captured you and stopped you still oh yes the warrior the chief he recognized the truth in that indeed and the spider said he said yes grandmother spider you are right and then the spider said, I will be your clan animal, for I am patient. I watch and I wait. And then everything comes to me. And if you learn this, you too will be strong. Yes. And so the spider became the clan animal for the isolated earth people. And the chief learned many more things from the spider. Because you see, as humans, we're sometimes very forgetful. We're very forgetful of our history. But luckily, history is held in the rocks, in the earth, in the animals and plants. And if we listen, and we pay attention, we can learn it again. And so, this chief learned from spider grandmother the, her other names she had once been asibakashi she had once been iktomi 
She had once been Kokyan Wukti. She had once been Naha Shajili Adsa. In all of those roles, she helped the people. As Asi Bakashi, she warmed the people. As it told me, she gave the people the circle and the web so they remembered their place. As Kokyan Wuti, she led the people up out of the caves of the earth and showed them how to live on the land. As Nahi Jali Adza, she taught them how to weave. And she also helped because she knew everything. She helped the hero twins to take away the monsters from the earth so the people could live there in peace. And before all of that, when there was nothing but darkness and the great mystery, she was also there. She was the first called into existence. And when she came, there was nothing. Some say there was just great waters, but maybe there was nothing at all. And she started to weave she put strands in this direction, silken strands, and strands in that direction, strands to the east, strands to the west, and to the south, and to the north, and to all the directions, up and down. She wove the directions. And after she wove the directions, she started spinning. And everywhere the web hit, with a strand in one of the many directions, the 11 dimensions, everywhere it crossed, it created something. It created a form, something small at first that grew and grew and grew into the stars. Each and every time it crossed, it created a star. It created a planet, it created suns, it created all the things that we see. And we can see those strands still, sometimes. Have you ever felt the strands of Grandmother Spider? Have you ever felt them pulling at your heart when you feel the love? for somebody else or they pull at your heart when you feel the love for something beautiful like a beautiful plant they pull at your heart when you see something beautiful in nature or you feel the love of your animal pet they pull at your ears when you hear they pull at your nose when you smell, and your tongue when you taste. All of these are all the parts of the web of Grandmother Spider. For you see, after she created all the planets and all the stars, of course she used her strands to come down onto the earth and then to create everything. And we are all created with that same web woven together. And that is why we can sometimes think the same thoughts at the same time. And we can feel and feel love and the connection of love. And we can see people, even people that are from our memories long ago or have passed over and we can still feel their love or smell their smells or remember the web does so many things take a few moments now to think about grandmother spider's web and where it arises in you
spiders are with us still. They're a constant reminder to us of the story of Grandmother Spider, who's come to us in many forms and exists in our hearts and our minds and all parts of us still. Sometimes we weave too to remember her. And we think about at every cross point, capturing those good things and letting the bad things just flow right on out. The good things can be stars and planets and suns and flowers and friends we love, even thoughts that are good. The bad things we want to let flow may be like those critical words we say about other people or ourselves. The non-loving ways that we talk and act, they can just flow through and everything else is saved and becomes part of us, part of our hearts, our minds, our very soul. You can also look at the dream catcher in the other opposite way. But I like to think of everything being captured in the web that I want to keep. And everything that I love, that I could see, I keep. And that's how we, we create too. We can create all of it, just like Grandmother Spider did, because she lives in us, has us. Grandmother Spider's webs are the times when we feel love, sense beauty, know goodness, feel connected. And I told you how you can feel them in those ways and you can smell them and you can hear them and you can sense the webs, these webs and waves of connection between everything. And there are some people maybe you're one of them who can see these strands these silver strands that connect each and every one of us it's connecting me to you right now and it's connecting us to plants to animals to rocks to the air and the wind and to the sun and the moon and to the whole entire universe. Can you see them? Thank you for coming to our story today. I hope we see you next time. Mother Earth, Father Son, span us a story, a story. See you next time. Bye, praying mantis.